So you decided to clean up your diet, you're kind of going in the right direction and you're feeling good about things, you're eating healthy foods all the time, why the heck do you feel so bloated? Let's talk about it. Alright, so believe it or not, it's actually fairly typical for people who start to try to kind of clean up their diet and, and live a healthier life to, you know, th they start feeling really bloated and don't understand why they don't feel very good. It's like, okay, I'm eating clean, alright, I'm, I'm eating healthier foods, I'm, I'm cleaning up my diet, and I'm eating nutritious stuff, why the heck do I feel so crappy? Like, I, if it, aren't I supposed to feel good if I eat healthy foods? Well, here, here's the thing, here's what I have found to be... A common culprit for this problem all right and I'm not saying that this is a be-all end-all I'm not saying this is the one and only reason why I'm just saying that this is a common reason but there are many 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 reasons why this could happen but a lot of times when people feel really bloated when they're starting on a diet it's because they're actually eating way too much fiber or way too much vegetables all right so here's the problem that a lot of people have all right we, we always feel like you know it's kind of this like if something's good, then a whole crap load of it must be great, right? Like it's, it's this extremism that we seem to have as a society is, is, is there's no like middle ground. It's always like all or nothing. It's, it's just go to the extreme all the time. And this is the problem. So if, if, eating, if eating vegetables is good, which obviously it is, then we think, well, eating a whole crap load of vegetables must be really good and it must be really healthy. And then what happens is it causes a bunch of gastrointestinal stress and you feel like crap and you bloat and you feel horrible. So this is a common problem that I've seen with people who start out. I'll give them a fiber target and they'll come back to me about four or five days later and say i just feel so bloated i'm up like three pounds what the heck is going on i i feel terrible and i say well where's your fiber at and the, their target fiber will be say 30 and they'll be like ah uh, about 65 whoa okay there's your problem so i'll say cut out some fiber cut out some vegetables all right get get your fiber down to a more reasonable level and then come talk to me again so they'll do that and then they'll be like a couple days later they'll go Holy crap, I've lost four pounds, I feel amazing, the bloating's gone away, like who knew? So this, it's just something to keep in mind, to look at, all right? So just because something's good and something's healthy doesn't mean that you should eat just a buttload of it, all right? Like everything needs to be kept in context and we always have to kind of reach a middle ground and not always go to the extremes one way or another, all right? So besides the whole sustainability of a diet, like are you really gonna eat like 10 servings of vegetables every day? Besides that, it's just, too much of anything can be a problem, all right? So what can you do, especially if you're not eating a lot of fibrous foods right now and you're starting a new diet and you wanna clean things up and you, and you wanna eat more nutritious foods? Well, don't just go from eating nothing but like processed uh, quote unquote junk food and then start eating tons of vegetables, all right? Make a gradual increase. Don't go from eating five grams of fiber a day to 50, all right? Eat a little bit more and slowly increase your fiber over time to try to get it up to a, a more reasonable level, but don't just go crazy right off the bat. So what I kind of typically recommend is about, i say 1.5 grams of fiber for every 100 calories or 15 for every thousand, all right? So if you're eating 2,000 calories, that'd be right around 30 grams of fiber. Now, there can be a very wide range within that, and everyone responds a little bit different. Some people do really well with more fiber, some people do well with less fiber, some people do well right in that range, all right? Just keep that in mind, but it's a good kind of starting place, unless, like I said, if you haven't really been eating any fiber, you might wanna kind of slowly work up to that, but. If you're struggling with bloating and you have a healthy diet, that might be the problem. So it's something to look at. If that's not it, well, then we gotta go down the list, but that's not for this video. So any questions, let me know, and I will talk to you guys later. I'm addicted to the love that you're giving. Every minute, every day I've been craving